Alleluia and praise the Lord on this Wednesday, May the 1st, 2024. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to this service of prayer and meditation emanating from St. John African Methodist Episcopal Church located in Cleveland, Ohio, where I, Henry Curtis, serve as pastor. I pray that all is well with you and with those whom you love on this fine day. Let us begin our time together in prayer. Lord Jesus, we look to you on the throne beside your Father in heaven and ask that you be Lord of peace in our hearts. Help us to overcome ourselves again and again and to remain at peace. Then your will may be done in your disciples. A power of peace may be around us that goes out into the whole world and your name may be glorified on earth. For you are Lord of peace, and we await you. In difficult times, faith and hope will take hold in our hearts, and all the more firmly to your glory, Lord Jesus. For you will suddenly come according to your promise as the one who does God's will on earth among all people. In your holy name we pray, amen. Our scripture lesson today comes from Exodus chapter 23, verses 20 through 26. Hear the word of the Lord. Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Give heed to him and hearken to his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. But if you hearken attentively to his voice and do all that I say, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. When my angel goes before you and brings you into the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, and I blot them out, you shall not bow down to their gods nor serve them nor do according to their works. But you shall utterly overthrow them and break their pillars in pieces. You shall serve the Lord your God, and I will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. None shall cast her young or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. The word of God for the people of God Thanks be to God. Our key verse today is Exodus 23 and 20. Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Let us pray. Lord, speak to me that I may speak in living echoes of thy tone. As thou hast sought, so let me seek thine erring children lost and lone. Now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. As I prepared for our time together today, a familiar song came to mind. All night, all day, angels watching over me, my Lord. All night, all day, angels watching over me over me. Now I lay me down to sleep, angels watching over me, my Lord. Pray the Lord my soul to keep, angels watching over me. If you are watching this video right now, you are a living testimony that the Lord's angels watched over you and kept you through the night. We are blessed, my friends, to serve a mighty good God. And we often say that God is God all by himself. And while there are no other gods, God does commission special members of the heavenly hosts to minister to his people. And scripture refers to these beings as angels. It's important to note that angels are not God. But angels do perform major functions on God's behalf. 
in 1 Kings, the 19th chapter, verses 5 through 8, sacred scripture records where angels fed the prophet Elijah. When we move to the New Testament, to the Gospel of Matthew, we will read where the Spirit drove Jesus into the wilderness, where he fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights. And while our Lord was in the wilderness, the devil tempted him with many enticing offers. And after Jesus' ordeal, Matthew 4 and 11 says, Then the devil left him, and angels came and ministered to him. Many interpret that text to mean that the angels served a physically and emotionally exhausted Jesus food and drink in order to refresh him. My friends, angels go about their work anonymously. In Hebrew, they are referred to as Ben Elohim, which means sons of God. In Greek, they are called angelos, which means messenger. You might recall that an angel announced to Mary that she would give birth to Jesus. And an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream, assuring him that he should take Mary, who was pregnant, to be his wife. While nearly all angels in Scripture are nameless, sacred Scripture does identify three by name, one being Michael, the great prince who's identified in the book of Daniel. There's a second angel who's identified in certain parts of the Scripture named Raphael. He's the guardian in the apocryphal book of Tobit, and Tobit appears in Catholic Bibles but does not appear in Protestant Bibles. And the third angel scripture identifies is Gabriel, the messenger who spoke to Mary about Jesus. In today's text, God tells Israel through his servant Moses, Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. God goes on to say in the next verse, For my name is in him. This is a serious angel who has the right of judgment over the nation. The text also says that if Israel obeys the angel's voice, abundant blessings await them. Triumph over their enemies, bless with water and food, no sickness in their land, they would not have fertility issues, and the Lord would fulfill their days. In other words, this special angel of the Lord is coming to lead Israel to better days that testify to God's presence and power in their lives. I've come today to bring you good news, that just as God sent angels in Old Testament Israel and in the New Testament to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, God still sends angels our way today. Angels who guide us, angels who protect us, angels who speak wisdom to us, angels who speak life into us, and angels who keep watch over us. Today, my friends, is May 1st, and it's commonly known as May Day. However, mariners and aviators call May Day when they are faced with a life or death emergency. You may recall just a few weeks ago back in March, before the ship crashed into the pillar that destroyed the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, the ship's pilot got on the radio and yelled, May Day, May Day. And when you watch the videos, you will see that before the bridge fell, a few cars and other vehicles made it across just in time. I submit to you today that there were angels on that bridge, angels sent by God to lead some safely to the other shore, and angels sent by God 
to lead others back unto him. Oh yes, church, all night and all day, angels watching over me, my Lord, all night and all day, angels watching over me. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Amen. Let us now pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Receive God's blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This and all things we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please accept this invitation for you to join us on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock for our worship service here at St. John AME Church, located at 2261 East 40th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44103. If you are unable to worship with us in person here in our sanctuary, we offer you the opportunity to worship with us online at 10 o'clock on Sunday on our Facebook Live channel and then later on this same YouTube channel. This video has been a blessing to you. Please help the channel out by clicking the thumbs up button, the like button, by subscribing to St. John's YouTube channel if you have not done so already, and by hitting the notification bell. Also, we ask that you would send the link to others so that they too will be blessed by God's word. Thank you so much for being with us today. Have a great day, a great rest of the week, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until next time, goodbye.